Tonight, the city of San Diego crews are working hard to make progress on the backlog of 6,000 streetlight repairs needed across the entire city. Quite a number. Our Brian White is working for you in the Loma Portal neighborhood, where residents tell us some streetlights have been out for years. A quaint neighborhood street here on Wisteria Drive. American flags, basketball hoops, dog walkers. <sighs> and the occasional airplane overhead here in the flight path. But come nightfall... It's very dark out here, and people leave their porch lights on, but that doesn't really help. Deborah Padawa has lived on this street for over 50 years, and she says the lights around here haven't worked for quite some time. It's about two years, and we've been without street lights, and we don't have any idea why. How many street lights are out on the street? Uh, every one of them. She took this video at night to show just how dark it gets out here. There are people around here. My son is one of them who works uh, one night a week until two in the morning. So coming home here, it's very hard to see. If somebody was out in the street, you'd probably hit them because you couldn't see them. And on top of that, without any lighting, people around here don't feel safe at night. Lately, we've had, um, I don't know, several ring cameras around here pick up people casing cars. My son's car was stolen right in front of our house. She's even tried installing extra lights around her home. Okay, so this is the floodlight on the corner here that my son put in, just in case people come by. She and others have filed get it done reports for years now to no avail. I would just like to see at least somebody explain to us why we don't have lights and then get them fixed. So I reached out to the city of San Diego's transportation department, which oversees streetlight repairs, and they say maintenance staff was here in October working on the antiquated series circuit system. But as of right now, they're waiting for a nearby construction project to be finished in August before crews come out again to make repairs. It is very frustrating being that we are cul-de-sac and it's very dark down here. You know, we don't have, you know, extra lights down here at all. And that may change because the city tells me they're going to look at installing temporary solar lights here to help out in the meantime until repairs can be made. In Loma Portal, working for you, Brian White, CBS 8. Here at CBS 8, we want to help solve problems affecting you. If there's something you'd like us to look into, just email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.